Hello, I'm Intogene Doctor, and welcome to Life is Strange. I have played this quite a few times before, but I thought I would replay it since Life is Strange before the storm is coming out in a few weeks. Which is something that I'm really looking forward to. I'm gonna fast track the game a bit. I'm not. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna show you all the photo opportunities, but besides that, there's. It's not really gonna be a lot of lollygagging. <laughs> That's such a great word. It really is. Quite a storm we have going on here. Holy shit. So surreal. Famously called film, little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. And any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? What if our... Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? 
Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, we don't making like them extremely her. popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook, or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. This is Kate. I am gonna be nice to Kate throughout the throughout the game because it, it's gonna serve a, a higher purpose later on. You don't have to, but I want to. You see, she's being bullied. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. Dear, dear Kate, we love your porn video, XOXO Blackwell Academy. Oh, high school. And I want to represent Blackwell Academy. You have just by participating. By Hi, Kate. Oh. Now, Hi, Max. Who wins. This is just a bump on a bigger road. I don't want anybody you to seem quiet today. Process, just thinking too much. To know that this photographic world is not for everybody. I had my moment in the Let's camp. go for tea. I hear that. I want to go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. See, we can try to leave, but he will stop us. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Hmm. I'm gonna show you the first photo opportunity here. Huh. This might make a cool shot. Yeah, it says Rachel Amber and a heart forever. See, it's gonna show up out oh, here. Okay, now we can leave. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. You you always welcome to the real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture. I'm not paying 150 dollars. Because Max wants everybody to see how hip she is. She plays it so shy. <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. The soundtrack for this game is pretty brilliant in my opinion. I really hope the soundtrack for Life is Strange Before the Storm is gonna be just as great. To all of you, 
American girls, it's sad to There's a lot of stereotypes people in this game. And it can feel American a little overdone at times. But the I'd thing with stereotypes is it's not like they don't exist. It's not made up. It is you. They do exist. Driving a car by the seaside. Here they just seem to Watching overdo the whole the thing a bit. From the bright side. Story's still great though. Empty. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown. Except for me. <sighs> Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. A lot of teenage angst going on in this game. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Let's take a picture of the butterfly. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! <laughs> Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now. Shit! Can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer I cannot believe who perfectly this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller? Diane. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? I did it. Can you give me I an actually example did of a it. Photographer who perfectly captured I'm a the human, human time machine. And and Anybody? Bueller? Max, Diana. don't freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her images. When I took my selfie, and Jefferson and asked me a question. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition, and Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. You all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl so, isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. 
Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join... I'm sorry. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not gonna get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me after Melissa class. And I need time to save that girl. Types. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again process, and give him the right answer? Out fine detail in people's faces, <laughs> making them ex Max. The Daguerrean process. The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Just gonna be nice to Kate again, since we did rewind time. Nice answer, Max. Are you okay? You look pale. Kate, um, uh, did we talk at all today? This is the first time. What's wrong? I'm sorry, I'm just dripping. Too much stress. I know the feeling. I wish we didn't. I do have to go, but we can talk later if you want. I'll see how I feel. Thanks, Max. Yes, he's not gonna let us leave, so we are gonna go talk to him. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photog- Uh, yeah, I'm not sure I have one. Given your selfie output, I'm sure you must have about a thousand pics by now. It'll take a long time to find a good one. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Excluded from this process, but I also want everybody to know that. Excuse me. Photography's. John Lennon said. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers. Good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Great. Now let's go see if we can save a blue-haired punk girl. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Given that she doesn't like to attract attention to herself, taking a photo, you know, a selfie in the middle of class with her big ass camera that makes a lot of noise, maybe that wasn't the best choice she could have made. Just a thought. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down! Tell me what to do. Wow, sir, it's so happening again. I need a hammer me. to break it open. Get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever... 
never even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh, holy shit, I can't let this happen. So now if she I can died again. Time again. I can help her. Yeah, so we're reversing time. Would Rewinding ever even time. miss your punk ass, would they? No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Given that he's a security guard, shouldn't his job be to figure out what tripped the alarm instead of just turning it off? Hold on, Max. Come back here. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. We're gonna stick to the truth, since Nathan did bring a gun to school and would have shot a girl to death if it hadn't been for us. So we're reporting them. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott. You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is... a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? No, we should not rewind. We're sticking with the truth. So I'm gonna end this video here, as I'm trying to keep them then like uh, t 20, preferably less than 30 minutes. So that's gonna be about it, so I'm gonna start up right here in the next video, and now I'm just gonna sign off, so uh, bye!